Well, good morning, Loka. It's Christmas morning. Everybody's still in bed at the Sutton household. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to say Merry Christmas to you. I hope you enjoy our tacky tinsel tree. <laughs> God's been really abundant to us. Grandma came. <laughs> or Santa. <laughs> and so we just wanted to take a few minutes and say Merry Christmas. We have loved hanging out with you guys over this last year and serving with you. Um, it's been kind of an exciting, sometimes surprising ride. And... Um, We've loved it. Last night was great. Um, it was wonderful to kind of look at the intentionality with the gifts that God gave us through the manger. Um, the wisdom of the wise men and the, the direction, the guidance of the star and those kinds of things. And so um, I, I just started thinking, you know, in that, what do we give God? God's given us all these gifts. What do we give to him? And so I want to read scripture to you and I have to switch hands to do that. So here we go. We're going to look at Romans um, 12, 1 and 2. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for Him. Don't become so well-adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, Fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings out the best in you and develops in you a well-formed maturity. Your gift to God is you. That's it. That's all he's ever asked for. The intentional giving of your life to him, just like he intentionally gave those elements of the manger to us, intentionally went to the cross for us. He wants us to intentionally give our hearts, our lives, our choices, our decisions, our control to him. And you know, that might not sound very loca, but it really is the most loca thing you can do is to give up your control to the one who really controls it all. So as we round out the new year, round out this year and head into the new year, it's my prayer, my hope that you're able to do that. That the gift you're able to offer God is the gift of giving him control of your life in every single aspect. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for these people who've been so committed to follow you sometimes in the midst of weird, crazy, um, Lego building, um, Jenga playing, Play-Doh molding church. Um, you've been so good to us this year. And I just pray, Lord, that as we end out this year and we head into the new one, our gift to you would be um, life surrendered. Our life surrendered to the purpose and plan you have for it. And I thank you for that and pray that this morning would be a wonderful time of celebration for our families at Iglesia Loca, um, and that you would continue to bless us beyond our wildest imaginations. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Happy New Year from the Sutton family to yours. We'll see you on the 1st at Sunrise Mall at 1030 in the morning. Merry Christmas.